Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well. If you guys missed a live stream for the 200 subscriber giveaway, please go check it out. It initially got a copyright strike, but then I actually appealed it, so it should be back on the channel, and I'll leave it in the iCard above and also in the description below. But if you saw that live stream, um, I did open a Tag Team GX tin, and I actually have another one, which is right here. So we have the Snorlax and Eevee tin. Um, it has the promo card right there. I'm actually a really big fan of this artwork because it is done by, yep, it is done by Komiya. So um, let's actually open the tin up first and then see what packs we get. Alright, so we have the Snorlax and the Eevee right here and it is like textured, it does like pop out a bit. And we have a little window for the promo card. Um, before that, let's actually turn it over and see the back. So we have three different tins, there is a Venusaur and Celebi, a Zekrom and the Pikachu, and this tin is the Snorlax and the Eevee. But if you guys want to pause it and read it, please do so. And on the side, it's just a different um, tag team artworks. But yeah, without further ado, let's open it up. And we are greeted with the promo card at the top. Or the, is this all together? Okay, I guess it's stuck together. So the empty tin is right here. And let me actually take the promo card out real quick. So here's a promo card and we see Snorlax and Eevee just hanging out, eating some fruits, just hanging out with each other. As you can see, the artwork is very um, different. It's not like your typical Pokemon TCG artwork. As I mentioned, it is done by Komiya. I don't know how well the camera's gonna be able to focus, but um, if you guys are able to see the name in the bottom left hand corner, it should say Komiya. But um, I actually have some other artworks by him just in case you guys are familiar or unfamiliar with his work. So these are from the recent sets, but if you look at these cards right here, you see some very notable artwork. Like this Whalmer, it isn't like perfectly round. It looks kind of, for lack of better words, it looks kind of uh, trippy. Like, I don't know, it looks very like, uh, that's that's honestly all I can say for now. But we have like a Whalmer. We have this Jangmo. o It's like a very particular art style. And then at first I'm like, oh, it's kind of weird. But then I've grown to like it a lot. So we have a Jangmo. o We also have a Salazzle. So as you can see, there's like a common theme, a common pattern within each card. We see a Claydol. We have a Grubbin. And sorry about the focus. I'm really trying to get used to the focus. And we also have a Spirit Tomb. So as you can see, there's like a very common pattern within all of these cards right here. So yeah. And let me actually show you some older vintage cards. These cards are from the Vending series. So if we start off with the first one, we have a... We have a Weedle. Also done by Komiya. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but it does say Komiya on the bottom left corner. We have a Machop. A very interesting artwork. We have a Machamp. I believe that's a Machamp. No, it's a Machoke, sorry. It is a Machoke. With like the Chansey. I, is that a Mantine? I have no idea what. Oh, Snorlax. Okay. And a Sandshrew. But keep note of this Chansey. So we have a Rhydon. A Doduo. And here is that Chansey again. So um, it's kind of like very similar in terms of like the art style. The two chances. But yeah, just want to um, point him out. He's a great artist. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be like, oh, I don't like his art style. But then I've personally grown to love it. I think being an older collector, you definitely appreciate the artist a little bit more. Like everyone knows Ken Sugimori, everyone knows Arita. But then like these smaller artists like Kasube, um, Uyama, like like this guy right here, which is um, Komiya. I almost forgot his name. Yeah, like these artists are very like underrated because we only know like the big names. But we got to give these artists credit as well. So... Moving on from the promo card, which I'll leave in this top left corner, we also have four booster packs. So we have two team up, one forbidden light, and one evolutions. And we also have this very heavy duty, it's like a metal um, GX marker. So GX tag team with like the black and yellow. And then on the back it says 2019 Pokemon JTB made in China. You guys want to see that it is metal it's pretty heavy duty but yeah so definitely very cool to add that in and without further ado let's actually get into the pack so let's actually start off with the evolutions pack hopefully we can get that um shiny charizard not shiny charizard holographic charizard here's the code for anyone who wants it so we're starting off with a slow bro spirit link a magmar energy retrieval voltorb sand true polywag diglett 
a seal. Reverse Pikachu, that's actually a very nice one. Reverse Pikachu, and we have a non hollow Starmie. It was a green coat, so I guess you can't really expect much. But moving on, we have... Actually, let's move on to the Forbidden Light pack. So, Forbidden Light with a Zygarde 100%, I believe, on the cover art. Here is a code for you guys. So, we have a Fighting Energy, Mesprit, Unidentified's Fossil, Uxie, a Scatterbug, Gumi, Dewpiter, a Flabebe, a Esper, Reverse Metal Frying Pan. This just reminds me of like PUBG for some reason. And we have a Lycanroc Dusk, I believe, Dusk Form, um, non hollow. So 0 for 2, hopefully these two team up packs can bring us something good. Alright, so let's go with the Zekrom and the Pikachu pack. And I was actually very surprised to find these tins at my local Walmart because these came out in 2019, I believe like March or May. Can't really remember, but code for you guys. Alright, so we have a Crass Energy, a Nidorina, Dewblade, a Flaffy, sorry about the focus, Psyduck, Ponyard, a Vulpix, Geodude, Mankey, a Reverse Jasmine, very nice. If you guys are watching the live stream, you know Jasmine is a um, key member of my team. And we have a Garvantula non hollow Ah, guys, it's not looking good. We're 0 for 3 in terms of pulls. So hopefully this last Venusaur and Celebi pack can bring us something good. So let's hope for a white code. Okay, so we have a white code, very nice. And here's a code for you guys, for anyone who wants it. All right, let's see what we can get. We have a Metal Energy. I was about to say Steel. Kakuna. Rapidash. Return Label. Z Zorua. I was about to say Zoroark. Zorua. Joltik. A Weedle. Blitzel. Paris. Kakuna. And for the last rare, or possibly hollow, is a Bills Analysis. Hmm, um, not bad. I mean, it still is a holographic. If you guys can see that, it's like very faint. But it is a holographic. Ah, uh, but I mean, I guess we take our win with this promo card right here. This Eevee and Snorlax Tag Team GX promo done by the amazing artist, Kamiya. So yeah, that is it for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know this video was a little bit underwhelming, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. I will be doing a recap of the 30 day challenge, which I just completed a few days ago. So that will be up very soon on the channel. But yeah, that is it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you guys like my content. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.